I put that dog bed there for two seconds and that squirrel is going to town. I know you're just trying to make a nice warm bed for yourself, but that's Murphy's bed. Okay, short video kind of, um, I didn't obviously take a lot of video of these guys working, but I do want to show the finished product. Now, uh, none of this is on right now. I still, I'm waiting for National Grid to okay one more piece of paper. New meter panel, which is great. All new wires going up and down the pole, which is great because they were bad. Um, this box here, what I can do with this is I can run like a 50 or 100 amp breaker here to my barn, which is great. Uh, be able to run easy power to the barn is awesome. And then you can see there's kind of like a generator uh, switchy thing here where if I want to run the house on the generator, I just have to flip the main breaker off. And then this thing can slide up. And then you can flip the generator switch on. Um, so it's, it's pretty easy, really. This is all solar stuff. I can't touch that. Can't, you can't do anything with that. But that, that looks good. Um, I'll go up the path. It's a little faster. This is where the wire is obviously buried. Very clean install. This is the generator hookup. I decided to put it on the outside of the building, on this side of the building. That way if a generator, let's say, say I put a little roof over this and the generator's right there and plugged in, the noise is gonna ricochet off of this wall and away from the house. Granted, we're phew, probably, what, 200, 250 feet away from the house anyways. Um, quieter the better though, when it comes to a generator. I don't really know what any of this does, to be honest with you. I know this is the inverter. Uh, this is something to do with the, with the solar. I can't add any circuits here. I only know that because it says do not add circuits. This one though, I can add circuits. Right now it has one 15 amp breaker just to one out, outlet. I'm gonna be running some more off of that so I can have lights and power and stuff in this little building. That's again, super convenient, I love that. Like I said, it's not hooked up yet, uh, but I do plan on doing some sort of a video as far as like the breakdown of what this cost how much our light bill was before we did solar, how much our light bill is after, and then we can kind of break down to see if it's worth it for you to do something like this, because I'll tell you, it's incredibly easy, but that's it, that's it for now. I think what I'm gonna do is get the drone out and show you the leaves because uh, they're beautiful, and uh, then we'll end it there. So thanks for watching, until next time. Uh, have a good week, everybody. I spend all my time.